So, um, in your first position, this is you. You have the nine of coins. And this is in your now. So, if it, if you're not feeling like this yet, you're going to be feeling like this. The nine of coins is someone who has worked very, very hard. Um, of, had, has had to make a lot of sacrifices to get to where they're at. Like now they're looking pretty. They're sitting there. They have these coins. They're feeling stable. But they have had blood, sweat, and tears to get to this place, right? It amazes me when people say, um, you know, she's an overnight success or he's an overnight success. And that's not true because people don't understand that that person who had the overnight success, there were years and so many losses and so many sacrifices that that person had to go through to be able to get to the point where it was what everybody calls the overnight success. That's this card for me. Okay. That's the nine. And you guys know for me, or if you've never seen me, the nine to me is completion. The 10 is where it's abundant and you're already looking to the next thing. Like what, how am I going to expand from this? But the nine is when it all starts coming in. The nine is when you can breathe and really be happy and settled and stable. Right? So, my beautiful cappies, brings me to what's crossing you. This is Spirit's advice in this situation. And they are saying, you see the nine and the nine? As much as you're stable and comfortable and things haven't maybe gone your way, but you're getting there. Um, enjoy these things that are coming through for you. Um, remember to fill your cups. Remember to enjoy the people around you. Remember to enjoy the relationships around you. Uh, for those of you that haven't had any of those manifestations yet, they want to let you know that that's coming through. You're coming to a happier time. You're coming to a better time because of all this work, because of all the sacrifice, because of all these things that you've done. You're coming to this time. I mean, nine and nine, come on. That's crazy that I got two nines there. So their advice is when these things come and as they come through and as you're seeing them coming through, because the pentacles to me means physical, grounding. Jupiter wants to do physical manifestations. So as you see th these things come through, remember to appreciate and enjoy because that's going to keep you in that vibration. Okay? So appreciate and enjoy. Now... Where you've come from, I mean, like, this is the Six of Cups, but I'm seeing, like, you've come from a lot of loss. You've come from a lot of, like, self-sacrificing or sacrificing. Um, so, some of you were dealing with somebody from the past. And for some of you, I do feel like this is you that you were dealing with from your past. Like, I feel like this was you dealing with your past self. Like, trying to come through what you've done, what's happened, what's going on. Why did this happen to me? Why did I call this in? Why was I... Like, all this stuff. I feel like you were really examining and looking at that. For others of you, I feel like this is a past person that you were having to try to figure out if, if there was anything more... How do I say this? You were trying to figure out if you were going to continue that life with that person. Or sh should I move on from that person? That's what I feel like. I feel like somebody, maybe you were separated or you were apart and then you came back together. And then you were really trying to figure this out. So either way, you made your decision. Some of you was to move towards that person. Others of you was to move away from that person. But whatever this was, you came through it, and you're here. Now, in your fourth position, this is you. So you have the Ten of Swords. So you're overwhelmed, you're tired, you feel like you're stuck and you can't do anything. But remember, when you look at this, even though they're swords, you see the light at the end? They're not hurting you. They're actually helping. They're giving you light. They're tweaking what it is that you're wanting. They're helping you stay focused on what it is that you're wanting to do. And sometimes it's just about the manifestation. It's just about the unfolding, right? So I feel like some of you are like, I don't want to, um, I don't know what else to do because I've done everything that I can do and nothing's coming through. And I'm telling you, that's why they're giving you this because it's going to come through. 
for others of you. If you haven't made a decision about that loved one, that particular romantic love, or um, like you don't have to like be with somebody to love them, right? Like you can love someone from afar. You really can. And so maybe that person wasn't right for you. Maybe that person treated you very badly because I see that. Um, and y you, f you feel like you, how do I say this? You feel like, because I'm feeling like a lot of guilt. I'm feeling a lot of like, I failed. I failed. I failed myself. I failed that person. I failed. And that's not failing. It's about one phase closing and another one opening. It's about learning the lessons that you wanted to learn with that person, with that situation, with that relationship. And now you're moving on to something else. You're moving on to, it may not just be someone else. It may be, maybe I want to live the second part of my life like this. Maybe I want to live uh, some of my life like this. It has nothing to do with how you failed. It has to do with what you've grown from. Okay. So either way, in the first two weeks, you're feeling very overwhelmed. You're feeling very tired um, because you just don't know where to go. And that's when <laughs> they're saying surrender. When you learn to surrender is when you loosen up that energy and your blessings start coming through. Okay. So in your fifth position, this is your higher self. I always ask your higher self what is the one message they want to bring through to help you move forward in love. And they're showing me the death card. The death card is all about transformation. The third house that Jupiter's coming in, it's a transformation. It's all about transformation for you. It's about all about your life changing and things coming through and you learning new skills and you understanding how to let go. Um, because remember, it's in your 11th house but it's looking at your third house as well. So in your 11th house, it's all about the transformation in that as well. It's all about your purpose and your life here and your stance here and what's really going on. And they're saying that that's coming through. There's out with the old and with the new, moving into new energy. And it is about releasing for some of you. It is like you've already done a lot of the hard work. I got this with Virgo too, where they're like working and working and working, but you guys have really worked quietly, silently, have not complained, and they want to let you know that it's coming through the physical stuff, okay? But your higher self wants you to know that that transformation is coming. You are ending like the old. You're letting it, some of it go, and you are coming into this new phase of life, okay? Now, in your sixth position, this is towards the end of the month so the last two weeks you have the page of coins so you do have news of money news of uh like i feel like some of you are like trying to buy property or trying to buy uh, some of you are trying to buy a company company or a property or something um and i feel like this news comes through so you'll get that news towards the end of the month okay um whatever this is when this news comes, this sort of helps you, mm, helps that energy or that situation become more stable, okay? So whatever this is, when you get this news, it has to do with that energy or um, that situation or that relationship, relationship. It helps it like get more solidified. It helps it get more stable, okay? For others of you, I feel like it's been a while since you've dated. And I feel like, like, I, oh, well, let me say this. Some of you have dated, but you're like, mm, yeah, that's not really it. And so I feel like towards the end of the month, this person that comes in is like uh, a little bit more than the others be because they are a little bit more stable in who they are. So I do feel like some of you might meet someone, but they're not here to stay. They're just here to get you to the next level. Okay. So they're here to help you smile. They're here to help you understand that there really are good people out there. They're here to help you understand that you can be loved again. Okay. So in your um, seventh position, this is your fear. So you have the high priestess. 
So your fear is, for some of you, I've worked on this stuff for so long. Am I ever going to get stuff that's going to come through? Or is there really the laws of the universe that work? Is it really about me just thinking about it and feeling it and then d it coming through? I feel like you have this fear of, is it all just about us being here in this one lifetime and then when we're done, we're done? That's really weird. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Um, but I feel that you're like, is there, is there just, is there more than this life? Is there more than just, just everyday grind? Is there more? I feel like that's a fear. You fear that there isn't. Your fear is that this is all like, we just come in and we work all our life and then we go and then we become nothing. And that's not true. It's not true. <laughs> I've seen too much. I know too much. It's not true. But it's just a fear. So a fear is there to remind you of what you want and what you don't want. Okay? Focus on what you want. You already know what you don't want. You tell yourself that like all the time in your head all the time. Like let that go and come focus on what you want. Okay? For others of you, I feel like there's a situation or there's a person or there's something, a relationship that you have worked so hard for and you're wondering if it's going to come through and that's a fear that it won't come through. So just understand for some of you, not everybody and not everybody's going to get this, but understand that nobody is keeping you from your blessing or from what you think you want or from what you think you know better than than your higher self because your higher self is you you're just a different aspect of it in this lifetime right but it's still part of you so if there's something that you are trying to make happen and it doesn't happen it's not because the universe hates you or god hates you or the source doesn't like you or your loved ones don't like you like it's not that it's the fact that you really wanted to do it a different way and you really wanted something different right and it's just a fear so in your eighth position i don't like i'm seeing this and i'm seeing that someone comes in to help open up your heart um this is the way a loved one will be viewing you or dealing with you um in the month of October. This is the lover's card. I know everybody loves the lover's card, but the lover's card means something more to me than just the lovers. So the lover's card to me is a karmic card. It's the beauty of finding someone or someone coming into your life that you've known before or you feel like you know them. You're like, I, I don't I don't know. I just kind of know this person. I know I know what they're about and I feel comfortable with them. That's who's coming in. But the misconception of this card is, oh my God, that's my lover and we're going to be hit there forever. That's not true. That's not true for everybody. That doesn't mean it's not true for some, just not for everybody. That's why I call it the 50-50 card because you come in karmically to learn lessons. Once you learn the lesson, you have 50% and they've got 50% in a decision whether you want to stay or go. Okay? But the karmic lesson could be that I wanted to experience the second half of my life or I wanted to experience this part of my life and learn what it's like to be with just one person. Right? That could be the lesson. But that's not everybody's lesson, but that could be the lesson. So to me, it's still the 50-50 card. You do have somebody that's coming in, looking at you that way, dealing with you in that way. But you'll know because they'll feel like you've known them. You feel very, very comfortable with them. And again, it's marriage for some of you. I feel that. I feel like a lot of Cappies are going to get married this year. Or at least get engaged. So in your ninth position... Um, this is the hopes and dreams, but for me, it's the outer realm of the energy that you're coming in, that you're bringing in. So you have the hanging man. So the hanging man is about self-sacrifice. And sometimes we just need to pause and we need to like calm down and back off and allow the energies to come through because we've worked so hard. And I feel like that's what sort of, you're coming to a time period where it's easier, 
where it's not so like grinding and I got to work and I got to do and I got to figure it out and I got to and I got to and I got to, right? I feel like this time is coming where you're just more relaxed and you're able to put yourself in a position like self-sacrificing you're able to put yourself in a position where you're more at ease and you're happy and do you remember that word joy i know a lot of you have forgotten what that word is joy i feel like with this card you're going to find joy again and happiness okay now in your 10th position this is the overall outcome of what you'll be working through in the month of October and um, you have the ace. So I feel like you have like a couple of things going on. Well, hello, you got like all of this going on, but um, you have the ace of coins. So you have new beginnings coming. You have this transformation. You have all this work that you've done and they're saying, remember to be happy and appreciative and enjoy. That's why they keep telling me about the word joy. When this new beginning comes, it's about, and it's pretty stable, but it's about, it's, it's like the gateway. It's like the opening of this bigger place that you're going. Okay. It's like the gate. It opens to this bigger place that you're going either in your romance or in your business or in your life purpose or in yourself or in like, it's got a lot of, it's different for everybody because this is the general reading, but whatever this is, it's, it can be solid and it can be stable, but it depends on what type of energy you're going to be putting into that. Okay. So however much energy you put in is however much you receive. Okay. Actually, you'll receive more, but if you don't put much energy in, then it can sort of fall away.